Have you asked yourself, how have I contributed to starting this pandemic? Or maybe not, and most likely you'll answer me, I didn't start it. But science says that you may have, and here's how. The fact is that this virus has come from beast to man. Because of rampant meat consumption, humans are in too close proximity to animals. And what viruses animals have, humans become susceptible to. COVID-19 is connected to bats or pangolin. It has just started and has already killed over 75,000 globally. Who knows what the final toll will be? Ebola started in 2014. It's connected to bats and primates and has killed 11,000 today. H1N1, swine flu, 600,000. SARS, that also started in a wet market and it killed 1,000. And of course, AIDS linked to hunting monkeys, 32 million today. All these viruses and others like bird flu, experts considered to be triggers that can easily fire off world pandemics. Yeah, this is our new reality My point right is now. That by eating animals, by hunting them, we come in contact with their viruses. 60% of known infectious diseases in humans are transmitted from animals. That means that it's not just meat eaters who get a virus, but anyone they contact. So, now with COVID-19, we are seeing how easily humans transmit those viruses at who knows what price to humanity. Now, you may not believe this pandemic is due to the wrath of God or the law of karma, but you cannot deny a fact of science that meat-eating risks pandemics. The Chinese government has already suggested citizens cut back their meat consumption. My friend, like me, you are probably in lockdown. You and I have adjusted our lives to save our lives and the lives of others. Now I'm asking you to consider making another adjustment, a lifelong adjustment. Please stop eating meat. And no doubt, non-vegetarians will argue that they have a right to eat what they please. But I and the 500 million vegetarians and vegans of the world reply, not when your right to meat jeopardizes my right to life.